Hey everybody, it's Lavetta Jenkins of ChattyPassenger.com. I know we have all been wondering what exactly was said on that phone call between Monique, her husband, and Tyler Perry. Well, I've got that audio for you. Let's take a listen. The question is, what would you want someone to do for you who said things about you and or mentioned things about you alluding to the difficulties that they had with you all because you well, chose I got an I got an how can you answer something and i'm not finished okay well let me answer part of the question and then you can the other part how about that can you do me a favor can you since you called up to have a real conversation typically i, I know you used to directing but what i need you to do is just hear me out man to man and that is this how would you feel if someone says something about you that was that you were not contractually obligated to do? What would you want them to do to make that right? And it don't have nothing to do with money. If somebody had said that, let's, let me just try to be in the position. If somebody had come along and said, Tyler's difficult, he's terrible to work with, he's not gonna do anything that you want him to do. He's, he's, he, he, if they said all those things, right? If that's what the rumor was, and, and and there were other people who knew that would not was not to be true. I would want those people to stand up and say that's not true. So, will you and Oprah do that? I can't speak for Oprah. I can't speak for. Oprah. Will you do that? It's my experience. I, I, I certainly can. I, I I've never worked with Monique. All I can speak for is my experience on pressure. I don't give a damn about saying saying that that. Would you do what you wanted done for you, Tyler? It's real simple. Would you do what you would want done for you? Because you at, you told David when he said his experience was wonderful, you said that was not your experience. And the question I would have, what did you experience with Monique and or I that made your, uh, your interaction with us displeasurable? Especially... I see exactly where you're going. I see, I see exactly where you're going. What made my interaction displeasurable is to have to to try to navigate between Precious, Lee, Monique not wanting to do any international press without getting paid, having to navigate through all of that. That's where my problem was. But but Tyler, but Tyler, but Tyler, this is where we are though. I'm talking in real time. But when you understand, because you're again speaking about other entities and components besides Monique. What we're saying is what what made it this play but but what I'm saying to you is I want your experience based upon your understanding that Monique, as we told you then, see writing those scripts or whoever wrote those scripts, they understand life. And I thought it was you. And if you don't understand that when you sit by and you say nothing when you know it's wrong, as you now said you know, and you agree, then what's the what, what is the call really for, my brother? What is it? Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to say this because I spent way too much time here. I thought that this would be a quick call that I could just call and say how I felt and, and to absolutely wish you the best. The but only see, way this changes, I think the only way, the only way this changes, I think for, for you guys and where you are is this. I think Monique needs an amazing movie. She needs a, she needs to be with a, a great director. And once the movie's done, it comes out, she gets all this kind of buzz. She gets all this, this, that she did before. And then this thing goes away. That's, that's the way call. this changes. It's got to be the right thing that comes along. Kind of some of the stuff that I think Spencer has been doing that comes to or, or Viola comes along, she does that, and all of this goes away. I know that, that, that town and how it works. It's like, okay, oh, that was a moment that's passed. She's amazing. That was wrong. So what, you, what you're asking me to do right now, first of all, I'm not going to get into this right now because because it's ugly and it's nasty, and, and it, it came from a comedy skit. I don't want I don't want to be a part what, of. What What is ugly and nasty, Tyler, about saying? Because we're not talking about the comedy skit. You're obviously not hearing what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. You said you don't want any chump change. Does that mean you do not want the money for pressure or what? Wait a minute. But wait a minute, Tyler. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Hold up. 
Because see, now what happens is the billionaire starting to come out. Right. Now what's happening is when you call and say, I didn't mean for this to take this long. Brother, you called us. us. And see what that said was when, when we first got the call, I'm going to tell you some real stuff. My heart skipped a beat because I said, okay, we can ready to talk to a real cat because he reached out. But now the tone you're beginning to take is I'm a billionaire and I ain't got time for this. And it ain't going the way I thought it should. Wait, hold up, brother. Hold up. Hold up. Because see, you'll start over talking. I ain't got time for this. And let me say this. And when you say chump change, here's the thing, baby. See, the community is involved right now. You know it and I know it. And everybody out there know it. The community is involved. And they want to see how it's going to play out. Because the community is saying, wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. We don't know this sister to be no bullshitter. We know she a loud mouth. We know she'll say some shit off the wall. But what we know about it is, she true to a word. And all I would ask you is one, que two questions. The first question is, did you not just say it was wrong? Tyler. Did you not just say it was wrong, Tyler? To say she was difficult for not doing something that she was not contractually obligated to do? Did you not say that you would feel that that was wrong? Or, or am I missing something? I, abs I, 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 I absolutely said that, yes. So the question I would say is, so the question I would say is, but I didn't mean to spend this much time on it because just like you were there with, with your beautiful twins, I got a little boy and, and, and I want to make sure when I'm off, that's where my attention is. Here's the so thing. I, then you should, you, you shouldn't have made the call yeah. until you shouldn't have made the call yeah. until okay. you were able to talk. But the last question I would ask you, hold, now, hold up. The, the last, the last thing I want to ask you is this. It's real simple. If you said it was wrong, when do you speak up and say that it was wrong, Tyler? That's it. Okay, then that means telling my whole experience, which about how I feel about the whole thing. That means telling my whole experience. Whatever you... Listen, listen, but 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 Tyler... Explaining the whole situation. Tyler, Tyler, here's the thing. You are articulate. You is smart. Okay. <laughs> and you is kind. And you and is you kind. Is <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, to me. listen, listen to me. Listen, shit. This ain't the billionaire. This is me. You gotta cut all that out. This is me talking. So, do you think that this was an admission of Tyler's guilt? Do you think that he owes her a public apology? And what do you think should happen after this? Let's talk about it in the comments.